Nej, shit. Stopp. Bar. Need to start this. Need to go here. Oh, hello, Aga. The Agape. I don't know how to pronounce your name still. Is it Agape Pepe? Hi. Oh, hello, Niakuza. Wow, you're in a good mood. Why are you gay? Anyway. <laughs> Let's see... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Nej? Eh? Oh yeah, here. Oh wow. Why am I dark? Oh, I forgot to turn on my lights. I have a plan what to do on this stream. It's... I will fix two pet peeves, probably, and then... Oh yeah. Wait, oh yeah, I'm on VPN. Oh, I'm on VPN. Oh. That's why I had bad connection before. Oh, dapper. Oh yeah. I put on this shirt for some reason. It's the only thing that was Almost clean. Err, uh, I changed the lift. But I, yeah. I just had a call with a, with a person, so I thought, oh yeah, maybe I should dress up for this call. But yeah, it was voice only, so it doesn't even matter. Hello, princess! Okay, what was my ID, ID here? Um... Oh yeah, I wrote it up here. And Ostbengt, hello. Oh yeah, don't respawn when closing editor. So when I press F4 and I press F4 again, I don't want to respawn. That's annoying. So I'm gonna fix that and then some other... Yeah, I'm gonna implement so I can die. And uh, teleport back if I fall, fall off the level. And then if I have time, some parent-child uh, thing. So I can put objects as child of other objects. And they can be moved together. Hmm, okay. <laughs> so, uh, editor. Mm, somewhere I respawn, right? Maybe I should look for all ref. Oh, yeah, I respawn because I load the level here. When I load, if not edit mode. But I should also do load level and then maybe a bool. Respawn true false. Something like that. 
respawn player. Default can be true. Bum, 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 bum. Here. So if what respawn player. Boom. Wait, wait, this just sets the spawn. Oh, wait, <laughs> it's down here. And it's not force, it's... Yeah, so it respawns there, and I'm gonna press R. Load level. This is when I load content. Reload current level, aha. It's only when I... Wait, when do I do this? False. Alright. Yes, so this is solved now. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is solved now. So now, when I exit the editor, I shouldn't respawn. Hmm. I redesigned this part of the, the level also. And also this lift looks different. And then if I press F4 again, yay! So I don't respawn to the beginning. So I can continue where I left off. Oh, I thought that would be more complicated. So I'm done with this die slash respawn last known good position yeah so when i die right now i can't die but technically if i get crushed by this lift then i should die uh, or Maybe the lift should stop? I don't know what I want here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. <coughs> I think the lift needs a separate collider, like it needs like a different collider type, like a dynamic collider or something. So if I collide with a dynamic collider, then some other rules apply. And I need that for the parent-child support later, maybe. So if, if I'm standing on a dynamic collider, then the player is the child of uh, the lift. And then maybe horizontal lifts will work better. 
Hmm. So I can solve many problems with that. Anyway. Hey. Are you here, Nia? Why are you giggly? Tell us. <laughs> nice. I'm not so he 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 anymore. But I was. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a I'm gonna I'm gonna make a Could make a dynamic collider inherit this collider because they are exactly the same, except the type of it, which determines different rules. Dynamic. Wow. Grats. How did you do it? Did you read uh, how not to give uh, what, what heter them? How not to give a fuck? Is that why? But yeah, good job. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, it works then. Ba 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 da. Ah, oh. so you fixed yourself without the book. Boom, dynamic collider. So if the player... What song is this? If I get squished by a dynamic collider, then I will die. How do I... But I don't know how to determine that. Actually, I don't care about... The type of collider. It doesn't help me. Hmm... Maybe it does a little bit. Hmm, how can I do this? Oh yeah, so if I'm grounded, if the player stands on the ground and I collide with... Uh, that but only if it's above me hmm oh this thing I can refactor this to get delta time wait are there any more Get. I made this. Okay. Here, 
calculations. <coughs> hmm. So if the other collider is a dynamic collider, I can check here. Oh yeah, I have the type also. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't need these types in them anymore. Well, I do need them for the level, level, level blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but here I can just, I can name it Interaction Collider. Solid Collider. But, blah, whatever. Something like else if is ground. Aha. Uh -huh. And if bounding box other bounding box bottom is equals or uh, yeah, if it's above me. Okay. Then I can die. Bottom equals or I don't know. I need some kind of tolerance here. Ah, actually, just if it's uh more than or equal to play a boundary bo box top if it's if it's on my head or slightly lower than my head then i will die and yeah and uh, y positive y goes down so it's i have to do this way surely Now, how do I die? Mm, just die. So when I die, I can... For now, I can just re... Respawn. Re... By the way, I don't even check for collision types all right we have an infinite loop now <laughs> why as soon as i went up the stairs i got an infinite loop oh oh never mind die i'm dying Wait, what? Wait, so should it, should it be on the other hand? Spiffy shirt. Uh, it is new, actually. Hmm. Going for a new look? Uh, no. But I, I put it on because... Um, for one reason, is because it's the only clean shirt I have. And the other reason is I had like a... I had a call with a... Uh, like, like, I had a call with a girl. So I thought, oh, maybe she wants to use the camera. But no. We used voice only. So yeah, that's also the other reason. Can... Yeah, yeah, it was a Tinder girl. 
cost champ. It mustn't. I'm really bad at calls, by the way. I'm. Um, I'm way too honest. I should learn how to lie and not be honest. But we'll see. Maybe we talk again. I'm not sure. Lie by omission, yeah. But I had a good point. It, I think it, it, the, the truth was relevant to the story. It, it was relevant to something she said, so... Lying is bad, yeah. It, I heard that, but I'm not convinced it is that bad, actually, but... Um, yeah. So that's why I have this shirt. Hmm. Why is this happening? So this is apparently the wrong direction then, I guess. What is this song? Okay, so now I don't die. Alright. Will I die now then? What? I didn't die. He lied about his size. By the way, it was quite interesting. Because I thought she would, I thought this would be kind of an, like an, uh, like an interview, interview, like she would interview me or to see if I was fit. But she never asked any hard questions. It was confusing. Because it, it was very surface level, Paul, for like uh, 20 minutes. Uh, because other, other girls I talked to, like they go into like hard... There were no hard facts, like deep facts about me. And they, I guess they compare me with everyone else they're talking to. So, but yeah, this one didn't do that. So that's uh, good. That's good uh, news, I guess. Mm, okay, I'm not dying. Why? So, if the top of that is lower, I don't know, yeah, uh, if it's lower or equal to that, to bottom, yeah, that should be it. See, most women go out with, don't interview me like that, seems weird if you get out, yeah, I have gotten it, uh, like, the, the, oh, so now, wait, what? Yeah, now I have the infinite loop. Why? Like my last date, she like she 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 asked how much I earn and stuff like that. That was very important for her, I think. Uh, so, yeah. Classic. Yeah, most of the girls are are like that, I think. It's it, it feels like an interview. I, I feel like I'm being interviewed and uh what else? Yeah. But not this call. This call was good in that sense. My only issue is that I was too honest. Yeah, only 20 minutes. Should it be longer? I don't know. If someone asks Griselda, you should run. Yeah, I, like it was a huge <laughs> red flag. And that girl, uh, she was really bossy. She, she, she like uh, really wanted to, she ordered me around also <laughs> during that date. She, she like told me, now you need to sit here. Sit on this bench. This bench is much better. And I, 
Okay, you, you should... Uh, she micromanages how I would sit on the bench and stuff like that. If you're into a dummy mommy, I'm not... I'm like the other way around. I think. Hmm. Is grounded and if player down box top is lower than this bottom, then die. Subby stepsister now, but I'm a dominant daddy, I think. <laughs> or not. Do you pay for the dinner or do you share? I always pay. <sighs> uh, except for the last time. Then the girl, the girl was really quick at um, saying, or she was really quick at paying for herself. I didn't, have, and then we got a chance to ask or suggest that I pay. But normally, I always suggest to pay for both. I don't know why I do that because normally I'm kind of cheap, but I feel like that's the correct thing to do. <sighs> It feels wrong not to do it. Yeah, I'm a gentleman. Wait, why? I, I'm going to die. Oh, I see the issue fucking... I never return, by the way. Wait, return. After I die, I have to return. Um... But it's not correct. Uh huh. So I, I was correct, and now I died and respawned. Uh huh. What? But I keep dying at this on this button here. Why? No! What? I die by just touching the door? Oh, I die by touching... Whoa! Oh, because I touch it from the side! Oh my god! So I need to check if direction is down... What the heck? Oh yeah, so now then. What? Okay, I fixed one issue, like this issue, but... I got called sexy for wanting dates with a stable income to pay. Sexist? <clears throat> ah, you, you were dating an Andrew Tate dude. Or a Jordan B. Peterson dude. Or like a Kuroto dude, maybe. Hmm. I don't have a problem to pay, but I guess I guess after a while it gets annoying. Maybe you feel like you're getting taken advantage of. If you pay all the time, you're on your 20th date and you pay and uh, no, yeah nothing happens so to speak maybe men get fucking annoyed and uh, say fuck that fuck the system or they're just shitty
Okay, so what the fuck is prob the problem here? Uh... Why does not... Why don't I die here, but I die here? Now I didn't die. Oh. Breaking. So when I collide with this pixel, it's like one pixel. If I collide with a certain pixel... Hmm... Like, what? Why though? Uh, anyway, I can... Whatever, I can do this. If it's a dynamic collider, then I should die. And other collider is dynamic... What? Dynamic Collider. Now everything will work. So now I will not die here. But I might die on this one. Okay. I don't die just jumping around here. But I died when I got squished, I died. So that works. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's a solution. Mm. Also, maybe I need checkpoints. Ape shit! You're falling off the button. Um. No, it's when I'm f going on top of the button. But why doesn't it broke there? Can buttons be pressed a second time? Um, not now, but they can. Yeah, they can. If I um, if I activate them somehow, then I can. Uh, but right now, I don't have support for that. <clears throat> but technically, maybe another button can activate this button again. So I can step on it a second time. Uh, I can... I think it should already work. If the button itself is button interactable, which it isn't. But I can make it like that. So I make it button interactable and then implement it. So basically, so when I, yeah, so this will basically just toggle if it's active uh, or yeah, if it's pressed or not. <clears throat> Boom. So now <clears throat> I can create a new button. Square of Hunky, it's squares. Basically, everything is uh, bounding box. So it's three squares. It looks, if I zoom in, you can see like it's three boxes. The interactable box. The top box is interactable and the two bottom boxes are solid. Um, but they are like very thin boxes. So I think I collide because of gravity. I think I collide with both of them. And um, maybe something with that. Yeah, I do fall through. I probably... Mm, um, because I loop through... Oh, ad land, fuck. There's an ad for one min more minute. Basically, sometimes I collide with the bottom one. And sometimes I collide with the top one. Basically, I don't need this... For performance reasons, I can make this just one box, the bottom one, and no one will notice. 
Um, uh, anyway, where was I? I don't remember. Oh yeah, button. So, I can make a new button that can activate... So this button can activate this button now. And this button... Could activate that, but... No. Then I will press it. No! This button will activate both. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh wow. That's cool. <coughs> Alright, so this button will interact with both of them. And th th it should just work. <coughs> I just need to hack the level and then my my logic should work. Button. Uh, yo. Hello, Koso Dennis. Or is it Dennis or Denny? Welcome. That was a raid, right? Or was it? Yeah. Welcome, raiders. Hi. Hi. I'm currently working on a game. What were you doing? Maybe the same? Hi. Okay. This button can target both of these buttons that I have. Here. Uh, I will do this with um, the, the UI later, but for now I don't have a UI to do this. Customizing ZSH. Cool. Uh, I use that whenever I use Mac, I think I use that. Okay. Okay, the button didn't work. So that's sad. Hmm. How how did it go with the customization? By the way, I'm I'm thinking about trying Linux or I am trying Linux. I have a Linux on a laptop and um, <clears throat> but I'm thinking about trying like a tiling window manager like all the cool boys do. And uh, using Vim and stuff like that. <clears throat> I've been using Vim some uh, for some time now, like <clears throat> for small stuff, just to try learn to learn that. <clears throat> D window matter. I don't know what that is. I I seen that most a lot of programmers use. Uh, i3 window manager i haven't seen d these nuts d vm suck less okay oh yeah it looks kind of like uh like i3 and awesome vm and Stuff like that. Problem with using Vim for 12 plus a year is I always hit escape when I'm done typing and all most weapons are cancelled. Okay, so you, you, you have been damaged by Vim. Three days awesome. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember back in the day, everyone was using Awesome. Back in the days when I had, uh, when I was hanging out in IRC and talking to Linux nerds. A lot of them were using Awesome WM. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I'm not there yet.
Yeah. But I'm afraid of using, like, a, to use that because I would spend 90% time customizing. And then 10% doing something. And yeah, that's usually how it goes for me. I just customize and don't, don't do anything else. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. As, but at some point, I need to be done customizing. But maybe it's uh, maybe it doesn't take so long to to customize. Okay, enter this button interactable button add target button interactable. So what's the issue here? Oh, I haven't reloaded. What? Okay. There are three buttons. This has one target. What the fuck? Aha! Aha! Oh, I did it this way. This has two targets. Sadly, I don't know. Oh, that was a door? Okay. This is a door. And this is my new button. Yes, and this will interact with... That button and this button so it's working it sets up everything correctly but let's see oh I know why no I don't know why do I hmm Is this called... It's... Oh. What? It's false. Now it's true. Ah, I don't support... Ah, I don't support depressing buttons at all. I see. I have to change the... So if... If it's not pressed... This is not how you do it. I need to... This is only valid when you go from... Oh yeah, this is bad code. But it will work. Hmm. Wee Wee! And then... Yeah, so now... Yes, now I can press this again. Whee! And now I can press this again. And this will... Fuck everything up. Also, the buttons can be on a, on a timer, so... Maybe after a few seconds they, like, get... They get pressable again. Hmm... Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Okay, anyway. I can die and everything. So I guess um, I have fixed all my... What the fuck? 
All my pet peeves. Mm. Mm. Should save this also. I will read only um, Start Sprite, I guess. And also, what's the start position? Yeah. We can always assume a button spawns unpressed. I'd say, though, using telemanager for so long as well, I actually struggle using normal window managers, like when I'm on Windows. It doesn't feel intuitive, too much mouse usage. You don't need to use the mouse in Windows. Um, like Windows has a tiling, kind of like a tiling manager. It's not as advanced, but you can switch between desktops. You can switch, you can quickly move Windows like this. I can move it to my other monitor like this with some buttons. I can, I can tile it like this. You can tile it to the corners with the keyboard. Uh, you can do a lot of things with Windows if you just learn the, the default hotkeys. But it's not. It's not as good as um, a proper tiling uh, window manager. <laughs> okay, maybe I should I should modify the door to be a dynamic collider. So if I make this a dynamic collider then doors closing on me will also kill me automatically which cannot happen right now because i'm too quick but uh, eh, it will work hmm. boom boom no! Shortcut. Uh, so, if you wanna tile... Oh, I can't do it with this window, man. Yo, hello, lace front. Long time no see. So, if you want to move a window to another... You do... To another monitor, you do shift, windows, arrow, left. Then it moves to the left monitor. And same with... Right, Hi. so you can quickly move windows with shift windows arrows. If you want to tile the window, you just do windows left, Hi. And then it becomes to the left side and to the right. If you do one up, then it becomes a quarter left, it becomes like this. So, yeah, you can kind of move it like this. And if you let go of the button, okay, like this, now you can decide which window do you want on the right side. Like, oh, okay, I want a sprite on the right side, like this. I had to use the mouse there, but I think you can use the keyboard for that also. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I haven't seen your stream since you played... Did you play Chrono Cross, like, two years ago? <laughs> like, yeah, around that time. Or oh, Chrono Trigger, it was. I always mix up Chrono Cross and, and Trigger. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a while.
I still drag the wings on top and drag it to the tile time. That, yeah, that's unnecessary. I forgot what I'm doing. I've done everything. The only thing I need to do now is... Oh yeah, I kind of want to be... I want to solve so I can put a flower on this platform. And I want the flower to also follow the lift. And that I can crush the flower like that. While it's on the lift. So that will be hard. That requires me solving... Some kind of parent-child solution. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, critters. I will have birds and squirrels and uh, stuff. I wanna. I also wanna step on critters and kill them, but I don't know if that's too much. I kind of want a little bit of a gore, gore in my game, like, and also if I bonk my head like this, it should splatter blood. I don't know if I'm crazy, but that's one of my earliest ideas for this game. Mm. Okay. So, so some objects can be children of other objects. How? I know how to do it a kind of normal way, but how do I do it in the editor, actually? How would I do it here is another question. I can put the flower here, but it will be stuck in... Oh, I need to save also. Then it will be stuck in the air. I can hack the level file. <laughs> An enemy that follows you, so closing the door blocks them. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, also. What the fuck? <clears throat> but I'm not sure. I prefer combat. If, I, if I'm gonna have enemies, I prefer combat. But that can be like a puzzle... Uh, event like certain bosses you you need to solve them by closing doors and stuff <sighs> all right plants hello i need like an interface like I parentable. So this flower plant is parentable. It's kind of a weird convention, naming convention, that this is like the standard that interface has this able in the end. But yeah, makes sense. It can also be called childable. Childable. I don't know. Parentable. I don't know what a good name is. Mm. Do 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 do. Uh, 
pair of the ball. My microphone is in the way for my keyboard. Maybe I need a new microphone. <clears throat> oh nice, you can see behind. Breaking the AI. Public entity parent. Land. Implement. What the fuck? It needs to be below the constructor. It doesn't need to be. That's my convention. Um. Yeah, exactly. Wait. So the object version of this needs a parent ID. And then when I load a level, then I just simply connect them together. Yeah. Problem solved. Set parent entity parent parent e hey. parent and this needs to be a private setter. And then the plant object. Needs a parent ID. <coughs> Actually, do this first. Add parameter, and then there we go. Oh, it needs to be nullable. Damn. Also, default is null. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then I can hack the level. You son of a bitch. Hmm, and then we go to the level and just make the connection. Plant, this is my latest plant. <coughs> Tor, no, uh, parent ID. <clears throat> it will be the ID of the lift. <clears throat> I love that everything in my game has an ID. Even every tile has an ID. <clears throat> Very good. So, this plant has a parent and it's the lift. So when I load the game... Um, so I will go through every object that has parent, that are parentable. <clears throat> oh yeah. Actually, they 
I don't care about that. Does the game have built-in tile map editor? No, this it does not have anything. So I have done everything. So I've done my own tile editor. So that's why it's not an engine. A mobile game is not an engine. It's they call it a framework. It just it does the rendering. It just handles input and drawing and sound and uh, some other shit maybe. So yeah, everything here I've done. <clears throat> I'm using this imgui library. But uh, the level, everything, the level format, and this grid snapping, and uh, this tile picker, all these properties, everything is my stuff. So yeah, it's nice, it's fun. This is, by the way, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Before I always used like an, uh, like an engine, like Unity, or... Unreal, but now I made everything myself, so that's nice. <laughs> what the heck? Um, base object. What am I looking for? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Parentable. Child. Chile. Child. And we don't know that. Wait a minute. <clears throat> I think I'm overthinking. I don't need this outer loop anymore. Do I? Oh yeah, I need for... Aha. Uh -huh. I've done the self-made route in... I've gone the self-made self route in the past. But I get hung up on efficient batch processing. Having a step up from trying to write manual open GL would probably have a... Yes, so this is the step up from that, I guess. But you also have SDL. I don't know how SDL works, if SDL has a batcher. Mm. <clears throat> I wouldn't have handled... I, I, it, it takes too long to do all the individual OpenGL calls. And I was thinking about testing Vulkan and stuff like that, but... Uh, that's so much work just to render a single triangle. Parent, nay, nay, er, yeah, exactly. So, where, uh, 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 so base fucking object. All right, right now it's only plants. Okay, I have to refactor this, right, S uh, someday. Of type plan object. So where that uh, do, 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 do
All right, then. Uh, okay, then we take the entity with that ID. Not a plant. Um, entity doesn't contain ID. The hell? Doesn't Sprite, but Sprite has them. <clears throat> I forgot. So that's as a reference ID. So this is the leaf. Object ID Okay, so e parentable needs a reference ID also. Fuck. Pam 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 so the child set why can't I parentable set oh I never did I never oh I never <clears throat> That's how you do it, right? Bum, 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 bum. That's not how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. But it's a plant is an entity. Why doesn't that work? It doesn't have to be like this. Fuck. Whatever. Who cares? Now it works, surely. Reference ID, you say? It doesn't? Oh yeah, it, but it's nullable. Uh, I thought I could do this. Now it works. So, now I can set the parent foo. So now the flower will be, will be a parent of the lift. Mm. 
I can make this better. Oops. Wait, what if I do plant again? I do. Then it becomes an error. <coughs> So, whenever the parent is... Huh? I realized something. I'm doing it the other way around. <laughs> Technically, the, it's the parent that should actually manipulate the child. <clears throat> At least in this case, but not in all cases. Sometimes the child is moving... Uh. It doesn't matter. So every time... So eParentable <coughs> needs to implement updates. It happens to do it already. Uh, but oh, I, know, I doesn't need to. Who cares? So it, it at every update it should set pus pus pussy no position. Uh, if again, uh, if parent is not null. I can also have a property for that. Parent position. No. Uh, I need a distance also. Do 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 Oops. I need the relative position. Um. <laughs> hmm. When I set parent, I need to calculate the relevant, uh, yeah, the relative position. Store that. Hmm. Yeah. I guess the difference, so parent position minus my position is the relative position. And then when I set the position, each frame, I will take parent position plus the... It, my math might be way off here, but this feels correct. Oh, it kind of works, but it's not really working. Cool. It works better than I thought. Eh. <sighs> but maybe I should do position 
minus that position, actually. That's the only difference. And then we reload, and it works. Yay! Boop! So now I can... Now I have parent-child connection. And I can smush the flower on the lift. Yay! Now what? I could try vertical... Uh, what is it called? Horizontal lifts. Mm. I feel like I've done everything I wanted to do this stream. Let's see. Ideas. Diaries. Oh yeah, I haven't done this part yet. Parent child. Be able to put flower lift and it can be smushed. So I've done this. So the only thing remaining is when I fall off the level, I should be able to... Like... Teleport to the last known good position. Or respawn. I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks for the claps. Whee! Okay, I'm gonna smoosh flowers. Oops, I died. For the rest of the stream. Smoosh! By the way, I really like my... <laughs> My these sprites, this super tiny, like three grass. What is it called? Gla grass straws? Is it called straws? They're so cute. And when you smoosh. Oh shit. When you smoosh them, they'll just. Few pixels just falling over. It's very cute. Like that. Barely visible. It's very immersive. Grass physics. Alright. I can't fall off this level, so I can't um, test this, but I can make a hole here. Whee! What the fuck? Oh, I need to, it needs to be wider. God damn it. I don't want to fuck up my grass, so I'm not gonna... I don't want to destroy my grass. Mm. Here's the level exit. And here's the... Death. So I'm thinking, if I fall for like... Mm, let's say... Three seconds. If I fall for three seconds, then I can just respawn or teleport to a last known good position. But then I have to constantly keep track of good positions, and that can be dangerous. Like if I if I stand on this lift and I record like like here in the middle of the lift is a good position. That's not really true because that I could spawn in mid-air, for example, and that's... Uh, that could be dangerous. I could die. So I could fall off, respawn, and immediately die. So I need to teleport to a safe position. I could have checkpoints also. Then it's 100% safe, if I have a checkpoint system. That's also the, maybe the easiest solution, to have checkpoints. That's, I think, what most games do. Mm. 
Except I, I think Halo 1 or 2 try to be fancy, but... Uh, uh, checkpoints are fine. And then when I... Oh yeah, and when I respawn, I always respawn to the last touched checkpoint. So I don't have to do any special logic. Mmm, nice. Yeah, let's let's do that. Respawn. Uh, I mean checkpoint. <laughs> I need an object. Check point. That's not an interface. That's a class. Base. Base object. Public. Yeah, it only needs ID and position. It's kind of like a level exit or like a... Oh, shit. Oh, I did, I did the wrong thing. I thought I was in the editor folder. Damn. It shouldn't be here. It should be here. Boom. Yeah, like this. Checkpoint object. Yep. And I can put it next to the level exit. It's similar to a level exit. Checkpoint. Is it called checkpoint one word or two words? Is it two? No, one? Mm, checkpoint. Mostly one word. No, sometimes two words. No, this is a company. No, it's one word. Checkpoint. Border checkpoint. We need to build a wall. Okay, so it's one word. Okay, didn't mean to, to go political. And it will look like this sprite. Hey, Kona. But what color do we want it? I'm thinking greenish or blueish. I want it blueish. And a little bit transparent, perhaps. And it's only visible in the editor. That's the, what the two number two means. This is correct. Type is wrong. It's type seven. Checkpoint. Checkpoint object, checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, this is so easy. As soon as I touch the checkpoint, I will use the... I already have that function, set spawn point. So I will just call set spawn point as soon as I touch the checkpoint. And that's it. 
And then when I fall for three seconds, I will just call respawn. And then I've solved everything I wanted to do. <laughs> Checkpoint. It's not the interface. Stop it. Stop it, Ron. Do these inherit? Yeah, they inherit Sprite. What the fuck? What is? Come on. Oh yeah, I saw the Minecraft trailer. Before I went live. Boy, does it look like shit. Like, yeah, oh wow. The only good part was like, oh, look at that. They have... Jack Black, Jack Black in in uh, yet another uh, video game movie, and that's barely a positive nowadays. I was cursed. Damn, yeah, I wasn't cursed. Like the spell didn't work on me. They were the evil hex. But yeah, it was cursed in for sure. Steve, oh yeah. <laughs> Weakling. I'm immune to um, Minecraft curses. Nah, man. No, but um, yeah. Anyway, it, it didn't look that good uh, to me. I'm not a big Minecraft fan either. Mm. Am I done here? Mm. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. I need an interaction collider. And I guess I need a reference to the player. Yeah, full and yeah, yeah, true. Why the hell did he do this ugly green screen? Ugh. True, it should be fully animated. Mm, yeah, this is it. I'm done. Almost. Not really. They did a Minecraft show that was animated. Why did it go this route? Wait, they did? I'm thinking about the Telltale games, like the Minecraft story. Like it was an interactive uh, thing. I never played that. I wanted to. Hmm. I remember I never saw the animated show. But there's a bunch of machinima. Just you, you can probably YouTube a Minecraft movie and there's like tons of machinima, much better quality than than Hollywood. <laughs> do 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 do. What am I doing? I think I need a reference to the player here. Private. Shut up, player. Hmm. 
Mm, should it be Rido? It's a bit annoying. I I load the player last. I load player after I load checkpoints. So I need to call a uh, function. Ba -ba -boom, ba -boom -boom. Unless game has a public property. Nope, it does not. All right. And when... Wait a minute. No, what am I doing? Ah, I, I forgot how my game works. Ah. I don't need anything. I'm done. The only thing I need is inside the player. The player is handling the collision. So when I collide, co collide with the checkpoint, I will just... Oh, yeah. I'm forgetting how my game works. Check collision. So, if it's an interaction, uh, uh, let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checkpoints is a touch. Why do I keep forgetting how my game works? So it's a... I have a touch interactable that I need to implement. Wait a minute. But nothing will happen here. Because nothing should happen there. But it will happen here. So if... And then I can do a more if. If the interactable is a check point. Then I will set. Hello. Hello. Set spawn position equal to the interactable's position. Oh yeah, so interactables need a position. Uh, vector to position. Boom. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. But now I need to load it and I need to be able to place it. <laughs> I always, when I try to sneeze, I always don't sneeze. Okay. Oh, yeah. Editor. Thank you, but I never sneezed. I wanted to. Door, no. Lift. I will. Uh, I can add it under level exit. It's very similar to level exit. Yeah, I'm muted, but. Yeah, I muted, but I, I never sneezed, so I muted, uh, I debated myself. 
Okay. Did I quite simply do this? Texture, position, rotation? Why do I need rotation? Level exit doesn't need rotation. I don't need rotation. Why do I... Did I copy the wrong thing? <clears throat> oh yeah, I did copy the wrong... Objects. It's gonna look like this without game. <clears throat> now I don't need this anymore, and we're done here. So now I can place it. Now I need a preview for it. So now I can place it, now I need to load it. Um, I guess that's it. It kind of sounds like Terraria music, but it's not. It's Chrono Trigger Remix. Speaking of Chrono Trigger. banger all right let's see if i first first try it it will be the first time i first try adding a completely new ob object but um okay for so far so good checkpoint it's here and it's here and it's there and can i save it i can can i load it I can. Yay, I first tried adding a new object. So now when I touch it, if I respawn now, yep, I spawn here. So if I die, I respawn here. I have a checkpoint system. Nice. Oops, can add here also. Um, yes. Can add one here also. Touch on Grace. <clears throat> Wait, what? 
Yeah, and now I spawn here. Now I spawn here. But if I reload the whole lap... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I disabled that. If I reload then... But if I go here and here, then I respawn at the start of the level. That's expected. That's what I want, I think. So. Alright, now I just need to respawn if I fall for like... Mm, let's say three seconds. If I fall for three seconds, it should respawn. Mm. Or is there a better way of doing that? Like, because in some cases, maybe I'm above the level. I shouldn't be above the level either. Ugh. I had a concept called Level Bounce a few weeks ago. Like, I had a box around the whole playable area. Um, and I set that box when I saved the level. Then I calculate all the... The top leftmost collidable tile and the bottom rightmost collidable tile. And inside that is the playable area. But there is some issues with that. Um, a lot of issues. You can briefly be outside the playable area, and that's fine. That's not a problem, but I, uh, maybe if you, yeah, if you're outside the area for like uh, three seconds, then you respawn. I think that's fine. So that's when I compile the level. Uh, I had something here. So this is how this is my compile method, and this is where I um, I merge all the colliders into bigger chunks of colliders uh, for performance reasons um hmm This is not true anymore. Mm. But that's true, I guess. Mm -hmm. Technically, I don't even need to do this anymore. Because I don't use deferred sprite order. I support layer depth when rendering. <laughs> anyway, I should look at my git history because I removed level bounds. I had level bounds and um uh, I think I can re-add it quite easily. 
Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, here it is, by the way. Level bounce. Oh, I have it. <laughs> okay, so I have level bounce. I just need to add it as an interactive collider. Which I used to do before for another reason. Colliders add. Oops. Hello. 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 Well, it should be. Oh yeah, I will add it here. It will be index negative one. It's a special thing. I will use the level bounds. Um, the type is interaction. So now, what? What are you doing? Oh, I need to convert it to, to, to rectangle F. So now, when I save the level, there will be a big box around the whole place here. Uh, save. Yeah, so now I have a big interaction box around here. This is the yellow border above me here. Um, so around this, if I'm outside this big box, the big blue box, then... For more than three seconds. Wait, how do I even do that? <laughs> oh. So when I interact with level bounce, it constantly resets the timer. Aha. That's fine. And when I'm outside the box, it doesn't... Then it stops resetting the timer. And then after three seconds, I respawn. I can't tell what kind of interaction. I mean, I can't tell. Or if I can read the index, I can assume if the index is minus one, then I can assume this is the level bounds. Quick solution. Oh, this thing. By the way, I'm gonna search and replace this with uh, my new thing. Get Delta. Entire solution. 11 occurrences. And I misspelled it. Del da text. <clears throat> oh, I love this song. Interaction and interactable 
But it's not interactable. Oh yeah, if it's an interaction, but it's not interactable. Could assume it's... Anyway, I can refactor this a little bit, so if Right, this is No Oh sorry, entity. Paths. And then I can do, uh, and that's always true, that's sure always true, but then else if... <clears throat> Index... I have to re- I will rewrite this later. So it's much nicer. <clears throat> Hopefully. So when I'm colliding with this, then it will constantly reset the respawn timer. So I will have a respawn timer. <sighs> spawn. Spawn position. And, yep, if I'm interacting with this, I will constantly restart it. Hello? There. So the respawn timer will res... Oh, it says reset. What does reset do? Stops time and resets. Mmm... No, I want to restart actually. So it starts from zero and count up. And then... <clears throat> what is this? Super Mario Sunshine. Oh no, I think they say... I think they say a bad word in this song, but surely it's fine. Anyway, respawn timer. Uh, where is the update? If respawn timer uh, elapsed milliseconds is greater than or equal than 3000. Then we call respawn. And there we have it. I think I might have to restart everything. Wow, I've never seen this error before. Stack overflow, repeat one, 11, 19,000 times. I never seen this before. Cool. I got a stack overflow. Get Delta time. Wow, that's what I did right now. Damn. Why? Oh my god. It's infinitely recursive. When I search replaced it. Oh my god. 
when I search replaced, it also search replaced this part. I never done a stack overflow before. I feel special. Okay. It's a little bit laggy sometimes. So if I wait three seconds, I should respawn. Yay! I respawned. Oh, yeah, I've done everything I wanted to do this stream now. Like parent child with objects and respawn timer checkpoint system. What else? Bees knees. Oh yeah, I can die. Wait, when I died, why do I? Ah, oh, because I activated this checkpoint. Checkpoint. There is no order to my checkpoint. So if I re, if I retouch an old checkpoint, that will be my new checkpoint. <laughs> Which is not wrong. At least that means it's a safe checkpoint, in any case, if you can reach it. Oh yeah, and I fix that so I don't respawn when I exit the editor. That's nice. And um, when it comes to checkpoints, I don't need this weirdness with uh, the collider size being so small. Mm. Checkpoint. It will be zero F minus origin X. Zero F minus origin Y. Oh, uh, sixteen, sixteen. Uh, oh, this song. Defense is uh, 10. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And then debug collider border. I want a different color to that. It should be like blue, blue violet. Checkpoint. Okay, Hi. Whoa. Where are all the girls at? Oh yeah, so now if I press F3, it looks like this. Girls rise up. My stream is huge for girls. Among girls. Wait, what? Oh, nice. Wait, what? Why does this happen? Why does the- Ooh, it happens when I hold R, I constantly respawn, and when I respawn, I touch another checkpoint, and I whoop, go all the way up.
Girls love this coding swag. I was gonna make a... Uh, WAP joke. But, uh, yeah. I stopped myself. Mm. Nice! <laughs> oh, I will respawn now. Wait, but I will respawn outside the level. Huh. Okay, so this is a problem. I should never have these top two ones because that can mean I spawn outside the level and get stuck. But these are fine because it's open. <laughs> And then one, two, three. Boop. <laughs> Get a bucket and a mop. Is that from a lyrics? What a what a pussy. That should be my tight title. Girls get a bucket and a mop. Have you had a girl dinner yet? What is that question? I'm not a girl. Okay. Nice. So, now what? What's next on my to-do, even? So I can die, respawn, when I'm falling off, teleport to the last known good position. Yes, I've done that. Oh, persist video settings, I need that. Basic puzzle mechanics, buttons and doors, that's done. If, if that's considered a puzzle. So I need like a settings menu. Oh, I hate that. I need a gun. Audio steps. I mean, I mean stairs there. So I've done that. Jump, landing, head, body, bonk, gunfire. I've done some of these, most of these. Oh no, I don't need menu for this. I just need like... I just need a settings file for this. So I need to store resolution... If you want a fixed frame rate, if you want V-Sync full screen, etc, etc. Would you guys come to my girl dinner? I would. I would... I feel like it, it, like, when I jump into the checkpoint, I feel like it's, it gets choppy sometimes. Or am I imagining things? I accordingly, that all the things which I see are false, fictitious. Like there. I that none of those objects which my but not now. Ever existed. I suppose that I possess... My memory is fine, my CPU is fine, nothing has changed. So, maybe because I'm streaming. What is there then that can be esteemed true? Sauce. Oh yeah, maybe I need a better, uh, I never wrote that, but I need for pre-alpha. I need editor. Whoops. Editor. Oh, uh, be able. Thank you. To set object properties in editor. That's a big one. That's a huge one. 
deep fried garlic with chili sauce. I never tried. You really love your garlic, don't you? That's that's okay. That's fine. Boom. And um boop. Let's plug this hole. That's what No, I don't wanna kill the flower. Boom. That's what he said. Um and then we do and then Now, I would like... What if I do... Okay, we have some kind of issue. Ah, I, I'm constantly respawning because I don't... I need to recompile the level. Boom, boom. Wait, what happened? Okay, there. So, if I go outside now, I will spawn up in the air here. Where am I? What? <gasps> oh, oh my god, my spawn point is out. I'm spawning outside the play area. Uh. I, yeah, I, I think this is fine. It should be allowed. Anyway, if I create like a bogus item up here, like a coin box up here, then it will work. Boop! Yay! Boop! So now I can die here. But it takes three seconds to respawn, but it's better than never. Willis or Lidl? Um, Willis is closer to me, so I pick Willis. Ah. That's how I operate. If the, the, the store that's closest to me wins. And then secondary is prices and products. Which is uh, sadly. S sad, but true. That's bad for competition. Eh. Same thing here, maybe put the coin box here. Wheel. Wait a minute, what am I looking at? Why are there um, two of these? Why are there multiple... Interesting. I don't know why. I know why. Oh, that's cool. That's, it's because I'm mixing tile sizes. I'm mixing 32 by 32 and 16 by 16. And they have different... They have different level bounds. So the 16 by 16 level bounds are not the same as the 32 by 32 level bounds. Because I separate them. I have to separate them when calculating collisions. This is... fine. Do, do, do. Mm-hmm. 
And if I die, I will respawn. Okay, I can still fall through the level, but then I respawn. Okay, so it's fine. So if I jump on the perfect exact frame, if I jump exactly when it's supposed to kill me, then I collide and ha uh, go under the floor. <clears throat> But it's not easy to do. It's I think it's frame perfect, but I I hit it often. Like there, if I spam, and then I respawn there. I feel like this is Blaster Master. It is Blaster Master. I knew it. I listened to the Blaster Master OST recently. The original. Hmm. Anyway, yep, I'm done. I've done everything. Almost everything. Now, oh, i done everything that I wanted to do this stream. I'm happy. I think I can end it now. Be sure to follow the stream if you haven't. So... Time to watch movie. Nice. Next stream, I will maybe work on uh, setting video settings in a file so it persists. <laughs> no thanks. And audio, I want to experiment with audio maybe if I have time. I had no audio as you can hear. Alright. See ya. Next. Goodbye YouTube and goodbye Kik. Goodbye Nia Ospeng.